you have chosen wisely. Hi there, Presley here. Indiana Jones is back. Not only in the new movie, Dial of Destiny, but a new game is also in development. Information on the new game is scarce, but more is expected to be revealed soon. Maybe at E3. Until then, let's dissect everything we know about the new Indiana Jones game. The currently untitled Indiana Jones game was announced way back in early 2021. It is a collaboration between publishers Bethesda and developers Machine Games. Machine Games are of course known for the rebooted Wolfenstein and Quake games. The announcement was paired with a teaser packed with lots of hints, but more on that later. The release date is not yet known. But in June 2021, Bethesda claimed that the game was in the very, very, very early stages of development. So now it is probably just in the very, very early stages of development. More information will likely be revealed leading up to the release of Dial of Destiny in June 2023. The plot details are currently kept under wraps, but there are a couple of directions the game could take. The story could be based on one or all of the movies. If so, this would make it a simple movie tie-in, much like the Lego Indiana Jones games. Alternatively, it could tell an original story. This will allow the developers much more creative freedom. It should certainly be its own experience, but include many references to the movies to please the fans. Luckily, Bethesda revealed that the new game will tell a wholly original, standalone tale set at the height of the career of the famed adventurer. So when is the game set? The game is expected to take place after Raiders of the Lost Ark, which was set in 1936, but before The Last Crusade, which was set in 1938. The aforementioned teaser trailer has a plane ticket dated 1937. This presents some clues as to what the story might be. In 1937, Italian fascist leader Benito Mussolini returned to Rome after a trip to Germany in 1936. More on the significance of Rome later in the video. Likewise, 1937 was the same year that Mussolini was presented with the Sword of Islam. The sword was a ceremonial weapon and now a lost treasure. Surely it is an artifact that Indiana Jones might think belongs in a museum. Though only 30 seconds long, the teaser trailer has loads to digest. The most obvious clue is the plane ticket to Rome. This pinpoints at least one location in the game, but this could be narrowed down further. The teaser has a visible blueprint of Vatican City, with the Sistine Chapel clearly labelled. Furthermore, there is an in-progress letter addressed to a priest on Indy's typewriter. This suggests that he might have a contact in the Vatican. So Rome, or specifically Vatican City, is certain to feature in the game. Additionally, the books in the teaser contain subtle clues as to why Indy is visiting Rome. The books include Ancient Circle Jubilee, Forbidden Stones, and Myths That Made. This could mean that the story ties in with the ancient stone circles found throughout Europe. Alternatively, it could be about the Cyclopean ruins. These are large prehistoric stone walls built with huge boulders. This fact leads people to believe that the land was once inhabited by giants. If so, this would add the supernatural element that is included in all Indiana Jones movies. Wherever the game is set, it would benefit from being a linear adventure as opposed to an open world game. With regards to the gameplay, it's hard to imagine anything other than third person action adventure. Comparisons will obviously be made to Uncharted, but Indiana Jones was clearly the inspiration behind Nathan Drake's adventures. Regardless, machine games might have entirely different plans. Firstly, the game is likely to have first-person gameplay. This would not be a surprise due to Machine Games' previous titles. Todd Howard, a producer at Bethesda, says the game will be a mashup. He said it isn't one thing intentionally. 
it does a lot of different things that, you know, we've, myself and Jerk and the folks at Machine Games have wanted to do in a game. It's a unique thing. That doesn't really mean much. The biggest take from that is that Jerk is an actual name. Nevertheless, to maintain the feel of the movies, the game needs to include a variety of puzzles and huge set pieces. Like the opening of Raiders of the Lost Ark or the tank scene in The Last Crusade respectively. Enemy encounters should be handled with a mix of stealth and combat. Combat must be mostly hand to hand as Indy rarely uses a gun. Therefore, a deep melee combat system is essential. This could include environmental finishers, as Indy usually dispatches his tougher foes with style. Indy's trusty whip should also play a major role in combat and platforming. Sections. <laughs> the aforementioned stealth sections could include the use of disguises as seen in the movies. Finally, there should be a system involving Indy's hat. A recurring joke in the movies is Indy putting himself in harm's way just so he doesn't lose his hat. As a gameplay mechanic, it could be that if you keep your hat on for a whole chapter or level, you get a reward. Unfortunately, as there are no gameplay details yet, we'll just have to wait and see what Todd and Jerk have in store for us. Indiana Jones has always been about the titular character. Although it would be amazing to have Harrison Ford reprise his role to voice Indy in the game, it seems unlikely. As for the villains, the location and time period suggest that Italian fascists might be the antagonists. Furthermore, Italian dictator Benito Mussolini is likely to be referenced even if he doesn't make an appearance. And looking at Indiana Jones's track record, Nazis are also highly likely to make an appearance. Are we allowed to say Nazi in a YouTube video? Likewise, Machine Games is no stranger to a bit of Nazi hunting. Nazis are of course the main villains in the Wolfenstein games. To put it simply, Machine Games and Indiana Jones are the perfect combination. Other characters that could make an appearance include Salah, Marcus Brody and even Henry Jones Sr. But these should be limited to cameo roles. Other than those, there aren't many characters from the movies that it would make sense to include. Ideally, the game should introduce a cast of new characters and it wouldn't feel like a real Indiana Jones title if a new love interest wasn't introduced. Before we look at the next point, I would just like to say if you've made it this far in the video, give me a like and consider subscribing to Prez1990 for more gaming videos. In 2021, Microsoft purchased Bethesda's parent company ZeniMax Media for $7.5 billion. As a result, many future Bethesda games will be Xbox exclusive. So is the new Indiana Jones game one of those games? Well, there might be some good news for Indiana Jones fans who do not own an Xbox. Sources suggest it is a multi-platform game. On the Xbox 2 podcast, reputable leaker and journalist Jez Corden stated that the Indiana Jones game will not be an Xbox exclusive. And there you have it what to expect from the new Indiana Jones game. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, give me a like and consider subscribing to Prez1990 for more gaming videos. All that's left for me to say is take care and I'll see you in the next video.